I'm here with Tim Campbell and Matt Keppel. And I heard you guys were down at this centre today giving blood. Well, I tried to go and give blood. I, that was the ambition, but unfortunately I had a commemorative tattoo to mark the birth of my son not too long ago. And I was told because it was within six months, I couldn't do it. But thankfully, Matt, my brother here, stepped into the plate. Okay, Matt, this is your first time giving blood. So why haven't you given blood before? I guess the whole notion of giving blood, I wasn't even sure where you would go to give blood. Yeah. And um, as Tim knows, like really, really busy. So it's kind of like, well, how am I going to find time to give blood, even if I knew where to give blood? Yeah. And I even don't want to give blood because I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. So that's kind of why it hadn't happened. If you can read all the information inside the welcome pack and just take a seat over there and something will come and call you through cool. shortly. Cheers, man. Thanks. Ready? Let's do it. So now, all we've got to do now is read through the booklet, which is going to give you all the information about what's actually going to happen and some of the things you have to be aware of with regards to giving blood. Sure, OK. That's cool. Oh, I almost forgot. You've also got to drink some water. OK. Cool. Thanks. Tim. You're a regular blood donor. Why do you think it's important for the black community to donate blood? There's only 1% of our community who give blood at the moment, which I think is woeful given the fact that we have so many special requirements around blood. If you take sickle cell anemia, the fact is you need regular blood donations yeah. if you're afflicted with that condition. And also we have a very rare uh, blood type, which is U-negative, which is only found within the black community. So I think the onus is on us to actually get out there, and hence why we're doing what we do, to encourage people through information about how simple it actually is. Yeah, that's me. Cool. Good luck, my friend. Cheers, man. See you, See you in a bit. Cool. Bro, OK. Sweet. This bit's private, so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm doing my donor health check. Matt, you went down to the centre today for the first time to give blood. What was your experience like? Uh, it was cool. It was really quick and easy. So I kind of did it on my way home from work. That was fine. Um, the staff, like the nurses, they're really, really friendly. It's like you get there, they make you feel at home. That's all good. And then just the experience of actually giving blood is so, it's painless. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's cool. So far it's been like the donor health check was fine. Yep. Just going through some history. Since we got in and we were reading over the information, how long has it taken you to get to this stage? Since then, we had a chat in the room for like yeah. five, ten minutes. Okay. And then came here, just waited another five minutes. So no time at all, really? No, no, it's quick. It's cool. good, good. They know what they're doing here. Yeah, when people are friendly, it's all right. That's what we like. <laughs> it's all right. Tim, so what would your message be to other potential donors out there? Don't be phased by any pain or any myths or stories you heard. It's painless. You've got to remember the name of this campaign is about being a VIP and you have the potential now to go out and save somebody's life. And I think particularly for us within the black community, we have an opportunity to do something for ourselves here. Nobody else can do this. When we're talking about sickle cell anemia and we're talking about rare blood groups, we have to do this for ourselves. So get out there and do it today. So when was the last time that you had to have a blood transfusion? Um, I just recently was pregnant with my son and during my pregnancy I needed, um, I noticed my sickle cell level was very high and then I needed a food blood exchange. So during that process the doctor had to take up all my blood and replace it with totally new blood. And why is it important for people to become blood donors? Um, giving blood saves lives every day. Without giving blood I don't think people like me would be alive today. And I think our community need to do something to help one another. To be a VIP in your community Call 0300 123 2323 or go to blood.co.uk forward slash VIP to find out more.